Hello, GPAs here. Welcome to another video. We're racing at the Red Bull Ring in the Mazda 3. I've qualified in fourth place. And we're coming up to the start line. Is it possible that we can have a clean race in Gran Turismo 7? Let's find out. I get a good start. Always got to be a bit cautious into the first turn. You don't want to be the one that takes anybody out. Doesn't look like there are any assassins today on the track. We got a good run down here. First and third in front of me. Raxa, Lempo, and Gwalyanuk. All seem to be. There's a penalty. Getting a little bit mixed up there. That's fairly clean. Got a good run on them now. I'm just going to be careful down at this corner. The leader has a one second penalty. Lempo and Kualunak are really scrapping her out. I'm just going to hold back a little bit and see what happens with these two. A little bit of pressure from Cycler behind me. Careful through here. Get right on the back. First place driver is going to lose a second. Can we catch up? Well, he had obviously stretched it out. He has maintained the lead. Coming up to the end of the first lap, and I am still in fourth place. Be happy with the fifth place here. I'm surrounded by A drivers. Feeling a little bit... worried. Oh, a little squeak of the brakes. Lampo goes wide. Got a good run on Kualunak here. But Cycler is not giving up. Coming down on the inside. Got to be careful here. Oh! Go past two. There's a bit of action behind me. Cycler managed not to run me right off the road, but I come out of that in second. I passed both those cars. In the lead now, Raxa. But Lampo just takes me on the inside, but he goes deep, allows me to continue in second. Raxa stretching her out. Can I catch him in first place? Just got to maintain a penalty free drive. Speaking of penalties, the first place has a one second penalty. I just got to get up a little bit closer to him. But Cycler wants me out of the way. He's flashing his lights at me like I should disappear. Sorry, I am here. You have to drive past me, not through me. So the driver in front, Rex, has got a one second penalty. If I can just get close enough at the penalty line, I might be able to take first place. Got to watch Cycler in my back mirror as he could be wanting to take a lunge here. Got to be careful. No, he's being a little bit more cautious himself. I get a good drive out of this corner. I think I'm within range. Once he takes his penalty, I should be able to get past. Got to get it stopped. Oh, I go a little wide here. Get on the accelerator. Oh, darn. I'm out on the curb. Oh, that's going to slow me down. That's going to give Cycler a little bit of ambition into this corner. Oh, look at that. He comes in. Hits my back quarter panel and knocks me offline. He realizes his mistake and backs off. And loses himself a position doing that. Good for you, Cycler. You realize that you went a little deep. 
and gave me back the position. I respect that. So I'm still in second place, but him knocking me offline there didn't give me a chance to close the gap when Raxa took his one second penalty. So I'm pretty much right where I was. We're on the fourth lap. Trying to make an impression on Rexa that I'm here. Can't seem to get any closer. Gotta hit my breaking point here. This corner's a little off camber. Come out in third to reduce wheel spin. Can I catch up to Raxa? He has got a good run. Doesn't look like he's going to be making too many mistakes. I get a good run out of that corner. Whatever that corner is. Back down. Coming to finish the fourth lap. Going to have to pit soon. Going to pit on the sixth lap. I don't think anybody will be pitting now. We'll start to see pit stops on the fifth lap. Pit stop is mandatory in this race. You must pit or you will receive a one minute penalty at the end of the race. Maintaining second, which is great in this field of A drivers. Raxa. This will not let me catch him as he starts to stretch the lead out. There's a bit of scrapping going on behind me which is allowing us to pull away a bit. Maintain the gap to third. Try not to let first get too far up the road. Rax has got a great run going. Hit that apex nicely. Come out in third. Is Rax going to pit now? Or is he going to go another lap? Should I try the undercut? Should I pit now and see if I can undercut Rexa? I think I will stick to my original strategy. I don't know how well my tires will last if I come in now. I'd like to have a little bit fresher tire at the end of the race. Rexa stays out. We have some pit stops happening behind us. This is our in-lap. Oh, I went a little wide there. Going to be pitting at the end of this lap. Do not need to refuel, but we'll be taking new tires. As you can see, the fronts are starting to wear. Drive out of there in third. Raxa, way up the road. Good gap to third. Give me a little bit of buffer if these guys behind me come into the pit. It's a tricky in on this pit stop. Got to cut the corner pretty tight to make the pit entry. Got to make sure your car isn't sliding too much so that it slides over the line and then you've got a tricky in where you have to make a right turn without going over the line. If you do, you get a three second penalty. So I'm going to try to brake tight here, down into third, 
stick on this curb, and just pull it right around. Oh, I made it in. Gotta break down, break down. That's it. Okay, no penalties on the into the pit. I don't think that was my best in possible. Rax is in as well. Cars behind me are coming into the pit. Everybody seems to be pitting this lap. There is my crack team. Tire changers waiting. Car in. Tires off. Tires on. Good stop by the crew. Coming out in fifth place. A couple of drivers in front haven't stopped. Lempro is leading the race. Pizel, who hasn't stopped either. guys in front of me are going to be on slippery tires. Should be able to catch up to them. Still a bit of a gap behind. Fifth place is where I'd be happy to finish this race. But I've got at least two drivers in front of me that are going to pit. Three drivers in front of me that need to pit. We'll see if they come in this lap. Podium still in the offering. This last half of the race is very tricky as the temperatures have dropped zero degrees and the tires have zero grip. Zero degrees, zero grip. Got to be careful as the car wants to understeer at every corner. And penalties are so easy to get here. Okay, the leader's in the pit. Will I catch the leader here? No. Lempo comes out in front of me, way out in front of me. He must have had an amazing in-lap. So I'm in fifth place. Brazilian in front of me that hasn't changed tires yet, a little tap. Gotta get by him if I want any chance of catching Lampo in second. Raxa is in first and he has already pitted. So, there's only two cars in front of me that need to pit now. See if I can't get... Move done on this corner. I go on the inside. Nice move. Get the move done. Now let me see if I can make an impression on the drivers ahead. The American, Pizel, is in front of me. He needs to pit. Just keep the gap to the cars behind me. And third is very much a possibility. Not my best lap. Got to get a little bit better if I want to maintain this position. Qualunuk is right on my tail, the fellow Canadian. So I've got to try to get up to the group in front if I have any hope of second or first place. Hopefully Pazell will be pitting this lap. And that will clear, give me clear air to the guys in front. Only a couple of laps left coming up to lap 10. Closing down on 
Pizzell fast, as his tires must be pretty much spent at this point. Watch for him to come into the pit. He stays out. He stays out. Hmm, does he know he has to pit? If he is on tires that are 10 laps old, I gotta get by him. Or I am going to have Kualyunak right on me. All right. Let's catch up to Pizel. Kualyunak is coming fast. He sniffs a podium. Get this turn in. Out in third. Oh. Pizel losing it. His tires are very, very, very worn. He's got to be coming into the pit this lap. If he doesn't come into the pit this lap, he doesn't realize that he needs to pit. Walnyanuk is all over me. Does Pizel actually think he's fighting for a podium here? We're going to find out. Oh! Kualinok tries to take me on the inside. Oh, a little loose. Back end. Rear tires just slipped right out on me. I almost lost the back end. Come on, Pizel. Go into the pit. Go into the pit. Oh, he's not pitting. Oh, he doesn't know that he's got a pit. We've all made that mistake before, but this could cost me a podium. Can I get him here? got to get him here. I got to get aggressive. He doesn't know he has to pit. Third is my position right now. Oh, he bumps me. Oh, he bumps me again. Oh, now he tries to pit maneuver me. Obviously, racing for third place. Kualyanuk obviously gets a really good run because Pizel was spending most of his time to bump me off the track. Not cool, Pizel. You're not even in third position, but I understand he doesn't understand that, and he thinks he's racing for a podium, so I am going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Can I hold third place? That's all that matters at this point. Kualyunak all over me. He doesn't see his opportunity there. Is he going to try me on the inside? I'm going to go defensive. Force him to the outside here. Oh, he bumps me. Where'd you think I was going, Kualyanak? I was right there. I've maintained my position. He's gonna try again on the inside. Ooh, losing the back end. Hold on to it. Come out and forth. I'm sure he was having as much problems with his back end as well. He still has a chance. Final lap. Final two corners. Can I hold the podium? Did I go over that line? I hope I didn't get a penalty. Coming in the last corner. I've got a run on him. I've got third. Yes. Yes. Third position. Podium. Excellent race. Well done. Raxa and Lampo. Great race. Well up the road. Take my podium. Kualyanak. A little bit aggressive there, my friend, but it's okay. We'll see ourselves again. And that's it. Thanks for joining me. GPA's out.